the Iglesia ni Cristo administration vehemently denies the malicious allegations being hurled against us. The INC leadership will never do anything that can ruin the reputation of the church. We have firm belief in a country's justice system. And since legal measures have already been taken, let's allow justice to take its course in accordance with the law. We have complete trust that, just like in the previous lawsuits against us, the truth will eventually come out and it will be revealed who are telling the truth. In the event that Lottie and company will refuse to vacate peacefully and voluntarily, the leadership will have to push through with its eviction case against her. We wish to reiterate that the Iglesia Ni Cristo is not a family corporation. It is a religion that stands firm in obeying the Lord God's teachings in the Bible. Hence, even the regulations implemented within the church are based on the Bible. Brother Eduardo Manalo, being the church's executive minister, has sworn to uphold these principles even in matters pertaining to his caring for his relatives, siblings, and mother. As the Lord Jesus Christ said in Matthew 12, 47 to 50, in the message version of the Bible, while he was still talking to the crowd, his mother and brothers showed up. They were outside trying to get a message to him. Someone told Jesus, your mother and brothers are out here wanting to speak with you. Jesus didn't respond directly, but said, who do you think my mother and brothers are? He then stretched out his hand toward his disciples. Look closely. These are my mother and brothers. Obedience is thicker than blood. The person who obeys my heavenly father's will is my brother and sister and mother. Thus, the supreme expression of caring for them is by teaching and leading them in obedience to the will of our Lord God. The other relatives and siblings of Brother Eduardo Manalo can attest that he has been upholding this duty along with the provision of their material needs. However, if and when any of them refuse to obey the teachings, he also must and will enforce the disciplinary actions as decreed in the Bible.